Welcome to the first volume of developing realistic shaders in Arnold for Cinema 4D. In this series of premium tutorials in almost 8 hours, we'll learn how to develop advanced and realistic shaders in Arnold for Cinema 4D. My name is Kamel Khezri and I'll be your host in this course. This is the first volume of a series of courses created at MoGraphPlus.com intended to introduce the tools and workflows for creating complex and realistic shaders utilizing Solid Angle's Arnold Renderer in Cinema 4D. Our goal in this course is not only how to create realistic shaders, but before that, how to train your eyes to see real-world surfaces and analyze their futures, and then recreate those surfaces and shaders in Arnold. In this first volume, we'll be covering four major shader categories, plastics, glasses, metals, and fabrics. For each category, first we try to familiarize you with the futures of that shader type in real world, and then show you how to recreate those futures using Arnold shaders and nodes. We start with plastic. In the first lesson of this course, we learn how plastic tend to appear in real world and what futures they have. After that, we start using Arnold for Cinema 4D to recreate those futures. In the second lesson, we try to recreate a highly detailed bowling ball shader and we really go all the way and make it as detailed and realistic as possible. After that, we create the shader for a vintage, shiny, dirty plastic phone. Then we start discussing glasses. In the first lesson of this section, after understanding physical futures of glasses, we try to recreate different types of glasses in their bare minimum form. In the second lesson, we create uh, a smudged glass shader and it takes time, but the result definitely worth the effort. Then we take a look at creating an extreme example which is going to be a dirty, rusty, colored glass shader and I promise you there is a lot to learn here. The next category would be metals. In the first lesson of this section, as we did with plastic and glass, first we figure out how metals work in real world and then we create different types of metals. In the second lesson of this section, we create a detailed scratched vintage silver mug and I show you how to create every little detail in the reference photo. Next, we create the shader for a bronze cast sculpture and also a few other versions of the same shader to make it more interesting. Then you learn how to create antique metal shaders. In the final lesson of the first volume, we explore fabrics and show you how to realistically create different types of fabric shaders in Arnold Render. For the majority of the course, we'll be taking a reference photo and use Arnold for Cinema 4D to recreate that shader, but to be as informative as possible and to not repeat ourselves, we might change that rule sometimes. Also, this is a live course and if there is a request for a specific shader in those four covered categories, I'll be updating the course with more videos so you can get the most out of this course. In the second volume of this course, which is planned to be released in the near future, we plan to cover wood shaders, translucent shaders like chocolate and jade for example, uh, and marble, uh, leather shaders, plant shaders and much more, so stay tuned for that. There is a lot to learn in this course and if you are trying to take your Arnold knowledge to the next level and learn how to build complex shader networks in Arnold, you are in the right place. So let's get started.